Don't go and talk about my father. God is my friend. He made this world for us to live in. And he gave us everything. And all the yes of us, oh yeah, is we give each other love. Don't go and talk about my father. God is my friend. He loves us whether or not we know him. And he'll forgive all our sins. But all the ass of us, oh yeah, is we give each other love. Love your mother, she bore you. Love your father. Ooh, love your sister, your sister. Love your brother, your brother. Hey, good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Whatever side of the diaspora that you're on. Let me welcome you, welcome you, welcome you to the inside of this safe space that we're going to call for now Rays of Light. All right? We ain't even going to do the mental health because it's just too crazy out there, right? This is a safe space. Let me tell y'all something. A lot of y'all not liking that song and you don't feel it. But I think that was such a small request that nature had of us as a human family. Is to just just try to love each other. You know what I'm saying? Just to know that we are part of a human family. But it's too late. <laughs> the ancient black people knew that when you put the head on top of the space, you all here that we already knew that the lowest nature of a human being is this animal nature and the head is supposed to be the highest so you're supposed to be able to think but now I'm kind of mixed up seems like the animal is smarter the animal even knows how to stop fighting one another when somebody gives up or when somebody is weaker or when somebody is not fair they walk away otherwise it's called bullying There is no alpha male in the jungle. There is no alpha animal in the jungle that gets any kind of pleasure of beating up a weaker foe. Only the human being, and it looks like only a certain type of human being, are arrogant, narcissistic, insane, personality disorder person. I don't know what your cluster B problem is or your cluster A. I don't know what. Doesn't even matter to you. No matter what label they give you, but you got to be some kind of crazy to like this environment that we in, and to not even look at where we at as a, it was where we're at as a society and know that we can't we can't last like this. I'm just a person that's like a. Get um um, how they say it, the watchman at the tower. I'm just saying, we cannot survive like this. You ever wake up every day and you be mad and you be mad at this person and you you gonna beat them up and yada yada yada. That 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 only lasts for so long. And that shit is real unhealthy. And after a while, the anger subsides. That's normal. Then you go back into your normal way of living for two years. Donald Trump has revved up a base of hate, and you can see it. And the people are rabid with a psycho virus that is us against them mentality. And the worst part about it is the people in the audience are poor people who Donald Trump has not anything in, in common with. And he's making a fool out of them, and they're too stupid to see it. You know, my dad told me a long time ago that the society was going to be dummy down. And that the things, and that's why he loved for me to read. He said, Khadija, 
one day you're going to see a society that people are so dumb. I'm like, it's always been like that. Maybe it's more of them now. I don't know. But I know one thing. We haven't learned how to give each other love. The Quran says that Allah made us into tribes and families that we may get to know one another. I, we didn't pass that. <laughs> I, think the, I think the Christian way of saying it is, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I don't know a white person alive that will, uh, that will want their baby. I bet you Donald Trump wouldn't want his grandbabies in them cages like that. And couldn't figure out no comprehensive, uh, uh, um, sane, sane way to resolve this problem. Uh, everybody knows that Barack Obama uh, deported more people than um, Donald Trump. But because he had class and respect for the human family, you wouldn't even see that dagger gets like that because he did it in a classy way. And he got rid of them. I mean, I mean, I shouldn't say it like that, but they had to leave in a way that and I think it was more of the, the criminal element that was illegal that he made sure he deported. And it was a lot of them. Absolutely. You're absolutely right about that. But didn't he have class about it? I mean, didn't the man have class? I can say what I want to say about him, you know, on other some other aspects. But this right here, this kind of behavior that uh, Donald Trump displays to me as a thinking, intelligent person is so elementary. I mean, and, and you people that suspect supposed to be so smart. You mean tell me your high IQ allows you to listen to this dumb stuff and be turned on by it? Sounds like a damn high school pep rally. These are all adults here in their 50s and 60s and 70s. And they, this shit sounds so crazy. Y'all old. And you still believe this man's going to do something. Ain't none of y'all better off. Because the only people that were better off in his presidency is the uh, rich 1%. So you, you, you're you biting off your nose to, to spite your face. And the thing about it is I'm so sick and tired of adults acting so damn childish. Lock her up. Lock her up. Get her back. Say, come on, man. Y'all so stupid. Grow up. Don't let this man... You know what? You're going to hell in a handbasket already. And then you, you're going to stop this train from... Just, I don't even think it can be stopped. So I can just forget that line. It's all out. Open season. And I don't even know how you can rail and corral this shit back unless you get Donald Trump out of there right now. And these people that are, are racist have their ri racist heart repent. At least you know where they at. And then you got to start from there. Because we're a disgrace. We're a laughing stock all over the world now. And then now you really see this place for really what it is. And you see people acting so ugly towards one another that we bite back to the madness. Right back to the man. We got to do better, y'all. And this reminds me of Nazi Germany. This is, reminds me of what Hitler did. And they let all of them uh, Jews go into that oven. With people uh, gassing up this kind of behavior. Us against them. Y'all don't even get it. History repeats itself, but you don't see it because you're that dumb. I'm going to go. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to see you next time in the mental house. Rays of light. Bye-bye.